Hello everybody, it's time for the Archean Crossbow Battle Pack Unboxing Please go check out my previous video Toys R Us now has all of Wave 3 I did a quick scan of the pegs They have it all, they have this, they have the wind up pack The two light cores, wham shell and countdown and the three swappers, which are Spyrise, Stink Bomb, and Rubble Rouser. So, if you're having trouble with Target like myself, Toys R Us should have everything, but for how long, I am not quite sure. Quick thank you to Dutrank and Malastal79 for letting me know. Dutt Rank found them and shared that information with Malastal, who shared that information with me. Thank you guys very much. They're out everywhere. I live in Pennsylvania. Dutt Rank is in Tennessee. And then someone else found them in California. So that is the entire country. So good luck. Let's unbox this. Really quick shout out. Um, if you could, please go check out Donnie Herman's page. I'll put his channel link in the description. Um, he has some numbers at the end of his name. Friend of mine lives in the area, so we tend to get things at the same time, share information. He does Skylander unboxings as well. So let's get to this unboxing. Everybody else is here. First camo, the Grim Creepers as well. Alright, they are out. First thing I want to mention before I even get to the characters, the um, box art for camo is really pretty nice. So I might actually try to save that. Too bad it kind of goes below the line a little bit. But that's really sweet. Carl saves all his tops, but I don't usually save all of them, but I like that a lot. So let's move these back a bit. Give you a general look, and then we'll get into it in detail. Start off with the crossbow. I could have brought my other items out here. Maybe one of these days I will do that. I've done plenty of videos of my collection, so I don't really need to, but love it. Looks really nice. Anytime you get clear translucent pieces, I like it. Great detail as always, as you know. Sticker and code enjoy. That's that. Let's do Grim Creeper next. We're going to save the best for last. There he is. A completely different pose than that of the Light Core in Legendary Versions. Yeah, that's a good look. I do like Grim Creeper, he's probably actually one of my favorite characters. He has his ghostly looking body. Ready to wind up and kill. Legendary is the same. Just different colors. 
So we'll put him away. But there's a comparison. This pose, he's almost getting ready to go into his ghostly form. And this pose, he's definitely ready to whack away at the enemies. Which one do you like better? Do, do, do. Probably. Yeah, probably this one a little better. Yeah, we're going to go with this pose. Great detail. I feel there's a lot more detail in these Swap Forge characters than there has been previously in past releases. You can definitely tell. Not sure you can tell in this video, but you can definitely tell they are paying close attention to detail. That leg is very, very skinny. I just now noticed that. So there's Grim Creeper. Put him aside. With his buddies. Card and code. Enjoy! I don't feel too much of a need to go over the card with you. Show you the sticker so you can look. Alright, let's get to the man. Like I've said plenty of times, this is my wife's favorite character. She is a big fan. Now whether I like this one or the first one, we will have to see in time. Both the poses are really cool. They're both kind of... This one he's ready to get you. This one he is too, but this one he only has that one leg up, but he is looking fierce. All the horns are kind of the same. I mean, they're all the same size, but they're kind of big on top and smaller around the back. But this guy, he just has some two massive horns with the thorns. It's a great look. Now as far as the color goes, I did notice this in other people's videos, and I'm not sure if I'll get it good, but the body is pretty much the same. Kind of goes into a red down here, and yeah, you can see it a little bit in him, not quite as much much more of pretty much the green color there's a little bit different color on his pads down here and his feet are really tiny there let me look yeah I guess they're tiny there but not never noticed he has some tiny back legs but the thing I noticed and this is something I like about the original much better And this is quite obvious. You can see this in the videos. The detail in the back is much, much, much better in the original release, which is this one. You can see his back, his leaves on his back look much more like leaves. And his tail, which is very cool, and how he looks in the game. You can see it goes from a green to a different color. I'm not going to try to pretend to know what color that is exactly, but you can definitely see the color change. And notice that those look like leaves on his back. Alright. Thornhorn. Looks much less like leaves and much more like plastic. That's a good look. They try to make it look like leaves, but there's not the wear there. They're all the same. It's all the same kind of color, I guess. That looks more like leaves because the pattern's a little bit different. Colors different. That pretty much looks like plastic. And you will notice his tail is also very plastic looking and very one color. 
whereas his tail kind of fans out and just in general looks better. So he looks the same from in front and looks very good I might add, but we need Mr. Camo to have a different colored tail. So why they didn't do that detail? That's perfect look at the two tails. Why they didn't do that detail, I will not know. Take a look at the back of your figure when you get it. Let me know if that bugs you, because that actually bugs me. It does. I'm telling you, it bugs me. So overall, I'm still going to tell you that I like the original better. Because of the details, like I said, in his back, that kind of does it for me. That's going to be it for this video. I'm going to do another short video, put this stuff on the portal for you. Adios!